What's up, everybody? Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, what have you. If you're a Grinch and don't celebrate those things, well, happy last week of the decade to you. Anyway, I am Logan Alec, this is The Money Done Right Show, and today I'm going to share with you 13 things to buy after Christmas, and later on in the episode, three things you should never buy after Christmas. Okay, so first thing you should buy after Christmas is anything on eBay. Let's say your dad's an amateur photographer. For years, he's been using a $200 point and shoot. But this year, your whole family got together to get him a top of the line DSLR or mirrorless camera. What's dad going to do with the old camera? Well, he might keep it or he might put it on eBay. Fact is, in late December and early January, there is a ton of used stuff on eBay. Stuff people want to get rid of because they got a newer or better model for Christmas. And you can find some pretty sweet deals if you know what you're looking for. In addition to eBay, keep your eye on Amazon, Craigslist, your local Facebook buy and sell groups, and even local garage sales, if you don't mind not having the latest and greatest. Number two, pre-owned gift certificates. Gift cards and certificates are some of the most common Christmas gifts, but recipients don't always want credit at the store for which they were given a gift card. With that in mind, many people look to sell gift cards for cash in the weeks after Christmas. And obviously cash, which you can spend anywhere, holds more inherent value than a gift card that you can only spend at a particular store, so sellers are often willing to part with their gift cards for 5%, 10%, 20%, even 40% off their face value. The world of pre-owned gift cards generally leans toward being a seller's market, but supply starts to outstrip demand directly following the holidays. Just know that the second-hand online gift card market can be a bit CD. I personally found Raise.com to be the most dependable and professional pre-owned gift card site on the web. That said, I have sometimes found better deals on pre-owned gift cards at other websites, but sometimes these other websites can be a little clunky and not provide the best customer service. Anyway, if you really want to find the best deal, the best thing you should do is search, for example, discount Best Buy gift cards or wherever you want to shop or eat. And I say eat because I've seen restaurant gift cards go for pretty sweet discounts after the holidays. Not everyone has the same taste. Number three, linens. You can get linens on sale from different vendors throughout the year, sure. That said, January is a particularly common time for steep discounts on bed sheets, pillowcases, and the like. These promotions, known as white sales, typically include linens along with a variety of other household goods. Department stores and alternative vendors like Ikea, Sears, and Overstock are just a few of the brands that run very attractive white sales. Number four, kids toys. Kids obviously receive more Christmas presents than anyone else, except maybe those of us who are in the S&P 500 this year, wink wink. So it makes sense that kids gifts experience a price drop. Unsold inventory probably won't garner much of a demand until the following holiday season, and there's no rule that you can't buy next year's Christmas gifts a year in advance. That said, this strategy will obviously work better the more timeless the item and the younger your child. If your child is, say, seven months old now, as mine is, they're probably not going to care about what kind of 18 to 24 month old appropriate toy you bought them a year in advance. But if you buy a PlayStation 4 on sale now to give to your 13 year old next Christmas, they might not be so thrilled because by that time the PlayStation 5 will have dropped. So moral of the story, only stock up on Christmas presents after Christmas if you're positive that the items you buy will still make a great gift a full year later. Number five, wrapping paper. It's no surprise that wrapping paper sells well during December. Similarly, most people stop buying it after Christmas once they've finished giving gifts. With that in mind, this is the perfect time to buy a long-term supply. Wrapping paper doesn't expire or go bad, so there's no downside to buying it ahead of time. If you find a good price, consider picking up several rolls to cover yourself for the new year and beyond. Number six, gift packs and baskets. Whether it's a six pack of natural aromatherapy candles, a big old thing of nuts, or just one of those massive corporate gift baskets, stores want to get rid of their prepackaged gift sets after Christmas. So why not stock on some gift sets for yourself or even keep some in storage until the next birthday or holiday? Just keep in mind that if you're buying a gift set with food, you want to check the expiration dates because there's no better way to say 
I hate you, to someone than to give them expired food. Also keep in mind that the markup on gift sets can be incredibly high when compared to the standalone items within the set, so it may actually be a better deal to forego the pre-assembled gift set altogether and just make your own. But on the other hand, it's kind of weird to just give someone random pears and sausages in a basket you picked up from home goods. so do what you want. Anyway, moving right along, number seven, winter clothes. Winter clothing is another popular holiday gift and sales of warm clothes begin to slow down near the end of the cold weather season. Depending on where you shop and where you live, you should start to see discounts in the first few months of the new year. This tip also applies much more broadly. In general, clothes are most affordable at the opposite time of the year from their usual season. It's much more cost effective to anticipate what you'll need in advance than to buy it once the seasons change. Number eight, decor. Decor is yet another item that stores want off the shelves as soon as possible. Holiday lights and other displays are frankly less likely to sell throughout the rest of the year. So many stores put their holiday decor at a steep discount immediately after Christmas and throughout the first few weeks of January. From personal experience, I would recommend going to your local stores, Target, Walmart, wherever they're selling holiday decor in your area, get there early on December 26th and pick up your bargains. High quality decorative pieces can last for a long time, so the right piece can be a great long-term asset for your future holiday cheer. Number nine, fitness products and subscriptions. Getting in better shape may be the most common New Year's resolution. Fitness companies capitalize on that trend by offering sales and attracting new customers. The weeks after Christmas, especially throughout January, are usually the best time to spend your money on fitness. In addition to individual items, you may also find great deals on gym memberships and similar subscriptions. Gyms can be surprisingly expensive, so it's a good idea to wait for a discount whenever possible. Whether you're interested in a gym or a home workout, you should wait until after Christmas before spending your money. Pro tip, ask your gym if they're willing to give you a multi-year discount. My wife and I did this with our gym and we saved so much money on our gym membership. Obviously, this is a large amount of money paid up front, so you wanna be absolutely sure that you will make use of the gym for years to come and that you're not going to move far away. Number 10, appliances. Both small and large appliances tend to experience price drops after the holiday season. You should be able to find good deals on everything from mixers and blenders to dishwashers and refrigerators. It's best to wait until after Christmas for anything you don't need immediately. Appliances are one of the most expensive categories on this list, so even a small discount could help you save a lot of money. Don't forget to shop around if you need to replace or upgrade any existing appliances. Number 11, food. Food obviously sells consistently throughout the year, but consumers prefer certain kinds of food around the holiday season. I, for one, I'm a sucker for those Royal Danks Danish butter cookies and that blue tin thing, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, things like baking supplies, candies, and other seasonal foods are generally put on sale soon after Christmas and the New Year. Additionally, people usually gravitate toward healthier foods once they start working on getting in shape in the New Year. Sugary and fatty foods are much easier to find, at least until people begin to give up on their New Year's resolutions. It's easy to lose track of spending in December, but you can often get better deals by waiting for the holiday rush to pass. While it's difficult to predict future food prices, holiday type foods generally receive discounts in January and are great items to consider purchasing after Christmas. Number 12, a house. The housing market tends to slow down during the colder months, so if you're interested in buying a home, you shouldn't wait too long after Christmas to start looking. The market will start to heat up again as buyers grow more interested in the early spring, and generally speaking, it can be easier to buy a house at a lower price when there aren't as many buyers on the market. Multiple interested buyers can lead to a bidding war, and you're far more likely to find an attractive price if you start looking at a less busy time. Of course, you'll need to start doing research as soon as possible if you're serious about buying a home in the near future. Furthermore, you'll need to prep your current place in order to show it to potential buyers or renters. Moving is a time-consuming process, and the earlier you start, the more likely you are to find the right home at the right price. Number 13, cars. Continuing on the big ticket theme, car dealerships are always trying to sell the newest models, and that sometimes requires moving old inventory. Many dealerships will accept lower offers on last year's models just to get them off the lot. 
Even though you may think it's only an unrealistic meme in auto commercials, giving cars for Christmas actually happens, and demand usually drops a bit after the holidays. Of course, if you're interested in buying a car, you shouldn't make the purchase impulsively just based on a good price. Instead, you should have a clear idea of how much local dealerships charge for the model in advance. Taking time to research vehicles can feel tedious, but can also save you a lot of money. Okay, so those are the 13 items that you should buy after Christmas. Now let's talk about three items that you shouldn't buy after Christmas. Number one, video games. You can find great video game holiday sales on virtually every platform. Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, they all tend to run promotions, including low prices on some of the most popular games in anticipation of the Christmas season. That said, once these sales end, that is after Christmas, prices are likely to go up for this foreseeable future. Some discounts might run into the first few weeks of January, so you may still have some time before prices return to normal, but the fact is that video games are usually at their lowest prices around Black Friday and moving into the Christmas season. Summer and fall releases especially generally experience their first price drop around late November and early December. Number two, jewelry. Jewelry is an extremely popular gift around Christmas and really any holiday season, but the fact is that the best time to buy jewelry is in the summertime shortly after Independence Day. By that time of year, Valentine's Day and peak engagement season are in the rear view mirror, and there really aren't any more gift-giving holidays for the next five months until Christmas, so vendors around the country tend to drop their prices over those summer months. This applies to smaller pieces in addition to high-ticket items. Number three, televisions. You might think that you may be able to score a sweet deal on a TV at a local after Christmas sale, but you'd actually be better served by holding out until right before the Super Bowl. By that time, Christmas isn't recent memory, and it's not really after Christmas anymore, but it's before the Super Bowl. Black Friday can also be a great time to score deals on TVs. So there you have it, 13 things to buy after Christmas and three things you should.